What's going on guys, Chase on two wheels here for a massively requested video and that is my top five favorite motorcycle accessories under $50. This price range is actually really hard to find good motorcycle accessories because it seems like everything for motorcycle is just expensive as crap, but I think I have found some really cool stuff that I am very excited to share with you guys. There's also a fly in here and I got an electric fly thing, so I can't guarantee how this video is gonna go. Might get distracted. What if I was just like, whoosh, and it like, okay. So guys, the first thing on the list is a dual port USB charger. This thing comes in at $49.95, and if it saves your butt one time, then that is totally freaking worth it. True story, I was riding to a meeting one time, phone was at 3%, it was about to rain, I didn't know where I was, and I didn't know how to get where I was going. I ended up having to stop at a CVS to get a phone charger and a battery pack, and that crap cost me $60 for crappy material that I ended up throwing away when I got home. Mostly because I was pissed off, but regardless, like don't go to CVS to get a phone charger and a battery pack. Just anyway, back to the USB charger port. So it's obvious that you'll probably use this to charge your phone, but what I love about this thing is that it has two ports, which means you can charge your phone at the same time you can charge another device like a GoPro. You could actually permanently power a GoPro that you have mounted towards the front of your bike with this thing and never have to use a battery, which is pretty cool. It also has a rubber cap installed, so if you ever find yourself in the rain, you could easily put the cap on and keep it safe from the elements. Installation is super simple as well. All you'll need to be doing is connecting this end to your battery with the quick connectors and route the ports to wherever you want on your bike. I prefer near the handlebars because that's typically where I keep my RAM mount that holds my phone, and that just makes sense. The pack also comes with plenty of cabling so you can route it to anywhere on your bike that makes sense for you. So guys, the next item on the list is an item that's gonna help you do something that you probably don't think about doing as often as you should, and that's checking the slack of your motorcycle chain. I don't know if you guys know, but checking the slack in your chain and having it the correct amount can drastically affect the life of an actual motorcycle chain. You guys are probably like me, and you look at your motorcycle chain, you push it up and down, you think to yourself, yeah, that's, that's about right. Well, about right ain't a measurement, and when you're talking about something as important as a chain on a motorcycle, it's worth taking the extra time to measure the slack correctly. I don't know if you guys have ever tried measuring your chain slack with a typical ruler, but it's a pain. This is why this cheap little slack setter is golden when it comes to making sure your chain has the right amount of play. Considering the fact that a typical motorcycle chain can cost anywhere around $100 and up, it's really a no-brainer to grab this little guy for less than 15 bucks and be able to easily check your chain slack and know it's set correctly. What's cool about this little guy is you can measure both your absolute measurement and slack measurement depending on the direction you measure. Simply place this area over your chain, then you push up and down to check measurements in millimeters. This is probably the best tool you're gonna find to keep your chain maintained accurately. Okay, so this next accessory isn't going to seem like a big deal until you actually try it for yourself. So whether you know it or not, while riding a super sport bike, you shouldn't be putting weight on your handlebars. You're actually supposed to support your weight by grabbing the tank with your legs. Depending on the shape of the tank and what you're wearing though, this can sometimes be difficult. Some bike tanks have a great shape and that help your legs get traction, but others don't. The type of material your pants are can also drastically affect your grip. That's why these stomp grip tank pads are on the list. They come in at 49 bucks and once you experience what it's like to have a load of grip, if you ever go back to riding a motorcycle without tank grips, you're going to feel like you're sliding all over the seat. Where these things come in super handy is when you're doing technical riding. Trust me, the first time you go riding in your favorite twisty road, you'll be thanking me when you're in mid-corner and have plenty of grip with your legs. So the next item on our list is actually an item I found while doing the first season of Wrecked by Kribo. So it was really cool to find a compact version that I could add to the top five. As a motorcyclist, we are riding these cool bikes, but they have something in common a dinky freaking horn. <laughs> Not only do they barely work, but they also rarely do their job. Or at least here in Atlanta, they don't. This is why the vast majority of us rev our engine when we need to get the attention of other motorists on the road. That is until you get one of these guys. This is a Denali Sound Bomb Compact. Now don't let the compact part fool you. It sounds like this. This thing blows a stock motorcycle horn out of the water. Just watch or listen. 
The Denali Soundbomb Compact costs right at our $50 limit and installation isn't bad once you find a good spot to install it on your bike. I do recommend getting the plug and play wiring harness for an additional 27 bucks because it makes installation stupidly simple. All right, so the final item on my top five list is my absolute favorite and that's because of how freaking useful this thing is. This is the Tyrox Snapjack V2. I'm assuming this thing was made for adventure riders so they could jack up the rear of their bike while they're out in the middle of nowhere and don't get me wrong, it would be amazing for that. What gets me so excited about this thing is that it would also be perfect for riders that just don't have any way of getting their rear tire up in order to clean their chain or possibly do rear wheel maintenance. For those of you that don't have anything like this, you are probably familiar with the dance you have to perform in order to clean and lube your chain. You have to clean a section of chain, roll the bike forward, clean another section, and repeat that process about, I don't know, a thousand times. Well, why in the hell would someone not spend the 50 bucks on this little guy and never have to do that again? It's small, fits in this tiny little bag, so if you went on a long trip, you could take it with you and keep your chain lubed while away from home. And once you get over the first time scare of using it, the thing works like a dream. And yes, the first time I used it, I was terrified, so I ended up using it on my Supermoto because, let's be real, if one of my bikes is gonna get toppled over, I would much rather it be that one and not the Daytona. Regardless, this thing has so many useful scenarios that I can see riders using it. I got really excited when I found this thing and I could not wait to show you guys. And ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of the top five motorcycle accessories under $50. If you guys wanna look into more of the items that I talked about, you know I got your links in the description of this video. Let me know in the comments which item was your favorite. And if you like this video, make sure to go all top five on that like button and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more motorcycle content like this. I'm Chase on two wheels. You guys go out there and ride positive and I'm gonna go uh, kill this fly. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Damn it. How did he live? How did he live? Out for a crew, what is the key? <sighs> okay, I'm way better at making videos than killing flies. Noted. No noted. The microphone's right. The microphone's right here. That's that's why I was talking into it. Okay.